Hey everyone, it's me, Katie Beth again, and happy Easter! <laughs> Easter bunny ears. So for today's project, I'm going to take some Easter bunny ears that I got at the $1.25 tree and change them into ears that I think are cuter or going to go with the dress that I want to wear for Easter morning. Um, it's Easter Eve right now. I'm going to try to make a dress tonight to wear tomorrow to Boysenberry Festival, or Easter Eve Eve. But I want to make a new dress for Boysenberry Festival. And I was just thinking I could somehow transfer these into cuter Peanuts ears. And if they work out, the other one I'm going to raffle off at the end. All right, so let's get to creating. So I wanted to do a boysenberry theme, so this is the fabric that I picked out. And first I cut out the bodice to make sure I'd have enough fabric. It's just a yard of fabric for the bodice. And then I traced around the ears to kind of get the right shape and size. And then cut them out. And I actually cut out four of them. Since the fabric's folded over, I just cut twice, really, and it brought out four different pieces. For the two sets of ears, that is. So next I just kind of fold them over because I want to iron them to get some crisper edges. I don't want to have fraying edges sticking out of the ears. So I'm folding in the frayed the edges in more. So I'll kind of hide them behind the ears when I sew them on. And I'm just going to sew them on by hand. A lot of measuring to make sure it's about the right size. So I did sew them on by hand here. You can see my little stitches. This is what the back looks like. And then to wrap around the headband, I'm just taking my scrap fabric from my skirt and I'm making strips. And then I'm just going to hot glue them all on. Just start with like one hot glue and then you can kind of keep wrapping until the end. And then at the end you just glue that on and then I do the next side next. And this is pretty much what it looks like finished. But it still seemed like I needed a little something more so I decided to put a bow on. And just glued the bow right on. Okay, so these are the final outcome of my new Peanuts bunny ears for Easter. I am glad I put the bow on it. I do think it looks a little cuter. You can see it goes with my dress. Uh, the dress did not mean to have such a big slit. I just made a little relief slit. And then when I put the shirt on, I ended up ripping it a lot further down. So it's uh, held on by a safety pin right now. I'll somehow make it cuter before I go out for Easter. But these are my new $1.25 improved bunny ears. They still don't look much more expensive than $1.25, but they go with my dress now. Do they bend? Ah, uh, no, they don't bend. That would have been cute. <laughs> for the next iteration. <laughs> so here's a little before and after. Not a huge difference. I just like that they go with my dress a lot more. So as far as raffling the second pair off, I didn't finish making them because it's already Easter and I need to go out and see family. But if anyone is interested in me finishing the second pair and sending them to you, the first person that comments in the comments saying that they still would like the pair of bunny ears even though it'll be after Easter by the time it gets out, uh, I'll finish them up and send them to you. So they'll look more like this. Maybe with the bow or without the bow. Tell me if you want it with or without the bow. If you just do just if anyone does decide that they do want the second pair of ears. And if no one comments by the end of this week, I think it'll be like April 23rd, 2022, then I just won't even bother making the second pair of ears. Well, thanks for watching everyone today for my Easter craft. Oh, and if you want to see the rest of the dress. I did make it pretty long. It's a little below the knees. It's my same Oktoberfest pattern that I use for everything. I just like it. It's a little weird for my age range to go about wearing every day, but Easter. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. If you'd like to see more crafts in the future, let me know in the comments below. Or if you're like, stick with the adventures. I'll probably do both anyways, but thanks for watching, everyone. And if you just want to say hi in the comments, hi, happy Easter. That's cool, too. Again, happy Easter, everyone. Have a great rest of your day. And, uh, stay crafty out there. When you make yourself an Easter dress you are really too old to be wearing, and then your boobs decide to rip the shirt down the middle, 
making it even more inappropriate to wear. But you still love it, and you're still going to wear it. Hi, Mom.